Hi, Leo. Welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising. Welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with a Leo. Maybe the message is for you. Feel free to take it however it resonates with you in your situation. Keep in mind, as always, that these are general and timeless readings. All right. And um, all my information is down below in the description box. We've got my website link, Instagram handle. You guys know the drill. And thank you guys so much for just liking, subscribing. Thank you for all the ways that you have been here and supported the channel. Let's dive into your message. Okay. I have... Let's talk. <laughs> Leo, let's talk. Here we go. So... Um, yeah, we've, I've got some things to say. So, Hierophant. Okay, um, Hierophant is kind of cool because <laughs> this is so cute. So, Instagram guru, we have seeking guidance from others. Hierophant is a teacher. It can be a spiritual leader or someone doing, like, spiritual work. This is a, like, teacher leader, straight up. I don't know if you guys have Taurus placements, so you're either dealing with a Taurus or this is you, all right? You might be coming across this way. You could be teaching all the things that you learned, and then you're going through this really trippy process where you're, like, if you're dealing with other people, which look at how you've got, like, see the seal... Do you see that? Yeah. The seal and then the two crabs. So you could have people under here that are paying attention to you. All right. Some have their walls up. You could be helping people or energies to try to break their walls down, which would be super amazing. And it could be around this whole situation. Oh, interesting. Okay. So we have the mother reverse and then we have the orphan and we have the warrior. Some of you guys could have dealt with some kind of like really hard situation, but you're very like enduring and perseverant. On the interesting side of this, this could be talking about a child parent dynamic where a child is feeling left out or um, neglected by some of the things that you're taking care of. Wow, like this is not the direction I was planning to go in at all. But the mother reverse is kind of like, um, like that is a very straightforward message. And do not get caught up in this if this doesn't apply to you. This is definitely only going to be for some of you guys. But you might be feeling, if you guys were in this situation, you could have felt like, orphan like you are either missing your mother or you didn't have the dynamic that you always wanted so I'm just trying to keep it kind of generalized right there where um something's upside down in that situation when it comes to this dynamic however it's playing out but don't um this is not a judgmental read. This can just be talking about the things that you need to do or take care of at this time. But what was I saying also about the higher font? Yes, if you're dealing with other people, you could be also going through the lessons of people are like your students are as much your teachers. You know, you go through that whole thing. That's like this self-mastery that you go through when you become some kind of teacher. Okay. So this can be you obviously as the warrior, which can also attract likewise to come forward towards you. You could be dealing with maybe masculines or feminines in your environment. Like we won't get too choosy on the gender, but there could be something like you're attracting people towards you that are kind of like this warrior energy been through really hard stuff persevered there's a lot of strong stuff like that <laughs> okay I love this card so freaking much so technically I would say that to you we have queen of fire batty <laughs> mastering feminine energy so you're coming across as very strong okay yeah these are all coming out let's move these around a little bit because weirdly this is really weird yeah this makes sense <laughs> all right well this is very weird 
okay, Leo. So here's what I think could be possibly happening. Um, okay. So this has been a common theme coming out in very strange ways. And it specifically came out in Sagittarius and Scorpio's reading. And it was like in Scorpio's, it was a different deck, but I also had the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Wands. It's been a common theme in the readings. I'm not totally sure why. Maybe it's a collective thing that's happening. And here's what I think. Okay. There could be this interesting connection. You could be dealing with an air sign dominant person. This does emphasize a little bit more on Libra. If you can see in the corner, it doesn't straight up have to be like maybe it's an Aquarius or a Gemini, but take it like try to be loose about how that is playing out. Okay. There's this huge lesson that's playing out and it could be about this whole teacher situation. There's a person here that could have been a little bit toxic or they were being gaslit. It depends. Like it doesn't necessarily negate if this person is acting toxic, but there's a person here who's like Miss Independent versus Baddie with a <laughs> on a scooter and there's a lesson going on there. You could be tied to that situation, apparently. You might be coming across as your energy is temperance. So you could, your self-care looks like it's very strong. You're, you could be coming across as like having an internal equilibrium that can handle situations. So you might come across as patient. If people in the environment are reactive, you look like you might have some kind of mastery there in the situation, and that's what's going on here. Apparently, if 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 there's been a teacher here, either you're teaching or you were dealing with a teacher, and now there's an offer coming in. Okay, <laughs> here we go. All right, where are my cards? There we go. Okay, someone has this whole core stuff going on around mother wounds or there, or there is a child that's feeling left out or feeling neglected or I don't know. That's coming into the situation. We have the Eight of Swords. That's in reverse. There's a person here that could be um, coming out of like a, like, Feeling, coming out of their thoughts, like coming out of overthinking a situation. Because like I said, you could be dealing with a, maybe there was an air sign here. This could have, person could have been doing something. Maybe they were gaslighting. Could be someone in the environment. Three of wands is reverse. Whoa. There's some kind of blockage in um, feeling the ability to expand or um, go bigger. There's the emperor coming in. So that looks like some kind of masculine that's coming into your environment. Five of pentacles. That's similar to the orphan card. Okay, there's going to be something deeper going on here, Leo, with this dynamic. That's probably the only thing that makes me a little concerned because we have the Page of Wands reverse and the moon. Oh, man. Okay. There's a person here and they have some kind of like, this is rejection, abandonment wounds. Also, this can be like um, concerns about security, financial security. There's this, this masculine person. So on the surface, they are 
like sitting in a position of power or authority they're very strong this person actually could be a warrior you know this person could i don't know if this person has some kind of background of being in the military or something they don't have to but they have some kind of vibe like that and this person could have a lot of like pull the very strong and but the page of wands reverse is making me a little bit like what because this is like um a split you might be going in and dealing with this person or situation and here's how it's going to transpire leo okay and and some of you guys this could be your own father okay and, but we have this page of wands what is going on there in the moon Too many too many let's try to get oh that is what it is okay i'm just gonna go with those ones that kind of flipped out okay that's collaboration page of pentacles reverse can can highlight codependencies okay and some of you guys this is literally talking about a child or it's talking about your own process that there's something going on and you will have to be very observant in your reality because like look we have these two pages there could be two people here that are kind of um in a process here of like naivety or being inexperienced okay because this and take it however resonates you literally could be any position here leo so this can talk about that you're still not completely developed in a particular area and someone could be coming in here making decisions very strong very very strong masculine and someone that wants to apparently try to work with you i guess because there's an offer coming in here this person might try to offer something towards you because they might see you as being innocent the maiden is <laughs> like there's a lot of novice energy in this where you're gonna go through these lessons and a lot of you guys like the thing that you're probably going to see if this is your reading of course is that as you go through this experience especially if you're dealing with this masculine you're gonna go through this subconscious thing and you will see directly that it's somehow tied to your mother and you'll get these realizations like they'll pop up as you go through the whole i'm sure you guys like for those of you that think about this kind of stuff a lot you might even think like back to your mother and how she handled this and that there's like repetitiveness or you're like mirroring your mother's situation in some particular way and these can talk about health okay this can talk about health and so look there's a person that wants to come in and collaborate with you and the thing that will be at the forefront for you is like so here you are sitting in this mastery and this masculine wants to approach you because they see you that way they might think that you're handling yourself well that you're doing your self-care is on point so you're able to kind of like emotionally move situations very popularly it, it, even if you've got someone very negatively in the environment it could be trying to like play mind games or do something very negative there could be something about like you know how to take the higher road or be elevated because your self-care is that on point so it's like you're not taking the blows as hard you're not acting sensitive and that's what's giving you this sense of mastery this masculine and is noticing it but also is noticing just know this person sees this and so don't even put anything past what this emperor could see because this person is either further advanced they have some kind of level of self-mastery that is um a step above yours and that's why i was saying 
this is almost like a vessel. When you interact with this person, if you decide to go forward and either create like some kind of effort or you're just like teamwork, you know, working with this person or working with this situation, you'll see that there will be these old tendencies that will come up to the surface because that's how it is. Like people activate things within us and apparently it's going to activate within you this process and you will start to feel that these things are coming up where it's maybe a, even a little bit more challenging for you to take care of your self-care because you're going to deal with the masculine here if if this is this masculine that has a split aspect to them and this is the part of them that is not healed yet if you do not stay connected to your self-care, which is the thing that attracted this person in the very first place, this is going to be your challenge to work through. That's why you have the warrior card coming up because it will feel very enduring because this person might have little moments of immaturity come up, whatever that looks like. This person might have um, a lot of sexuality to them. You might have some kind of attraction in that way and I would always be cautious of that because that can have a, a very strong sense of shame, guilt, or fear tied to it. And um, so try, you know, the main focus will be that you want to keep your attention on the things that keep that equilibrium. That's going to be your challenge. Because, and this person, a part of their wounds is you share this in common. This can talk about like, and you guys can look this up on YouTube. It's like mother wounds and things like that. That will be a strong emphasis between you and a person, you and a masculine, not losing yourself because there'll be this tendency here where this person maybe wants the attention to be on them and you lose yourself. And if that happens in a day, you will see the repercussions. And because this person might observe you as being very innocent, these maiden cards talk a lot about this development and this curiosity to wander into a situation because a person might seem very complex or mysterious or you don't um, like, but it might be this part of you that needs attention and needs to be healed and needs attention on yourself and you'll have moments like that come up. So anyway, let me dive into the extended Leo. If you guys want to join me, as always, feel free. Go down below. Click on the Vimeo link. See you over there. But Leo, if this is where we leave things, I'm sending you so much love. Wishing you all the very best. See you in your next reading. Take care.